Hello and welcome to my video. The problem that we are going to tackle today is this. Find all possible values for A so that these three lines uh, do not form a triangle. So the problem is pretty straightforward. Three linear functions are given and among them, the first one is a fixed linear function because it doesn't contain a, so the line does not depend on the value of a. And the other two contains parameter a, so the line changes as the value of a changes. We must find the values of a so that the resulting lines do not form a triangle. You can observe these changing lines visually using Desmos graphing calculator. Uh, by changing the parameter a here in this slider, you can see that two lines change, the blue one and the red one containing A, whilst the black line is fixed uh, since it does not contain A. So the first question we have to ask is this, uh, when these three lines do not form a triangle, uh, what is the relation between their positions? And there are two cases where three lines don't form a triangle. The first case is when three lines meet at a point, and second case is when at least two lines are parallel. So let us find A for each case. Right, the first case, three lines meet at a point. Right, so in this case, the intersection points between line one and two must also lie on the third line as well. So let's solve 1 and 2 to find the intersection point. Or we can eliminate y by multiplying 3 at the second equation, subtracting 1 from that. So equation 2 times 3 means 6ax plus 3y equals 3. And first equation is simply this. So if we subtract it, we have 6a minus 5x, and y is eliminated, equals 1. So therefore, we have x equals 1 over 6a minus 5. And if we use this value in the first equation, we have 5 over 6a minus 5 plus 3y equals 2. And from here, we obtain y equals 4a minus 5 over 6a minus 5. Now, these x and y values must also satisfy the third equation. So from equation 3, we have 1 over 6a minus 5 plus a times 4a minus 5 over 6a minus 5 equals 1. Now let's multiply 6a minus 5 on both sides. Then we have 1 plus 4a square minus 5a equals 6a minus 5. So we have 4a square minus 11a plus 6 equals 0. And let us factor the left-hand side using this factorization formula. So this must be 4, and this must be 6, and this uh, must be minus 11. Uh, it may take some time to guess, but eventually we obtain this. So this gives minus 3, and this gives minus 8, so their sum is minus 11. This gives 4, and this gives 6. So we have 4a minus 3 times a minus 2 equals 0. So therefore, a equals 3 over 4 or 2. And because x and y are actually given in fractional form, uh, we have to check our answers. Uh, both of these values uh, do not make the denominators of these expressions 0. And so therefore, they are valid solutions. So we have found two values in this case. Okay, now let's take a look at the second case where at least two lines must be parallel. In order to determine whether two lines are parallel or not, we have to take a look at their slopes. So let us write the slopes of these lines. The slopes are minus 5 over 3, minus 2a, and minus 1 over a. So the first one is where minus 5 over 3 equals minus 2a, then a equals 5 over 6. The second possibility is where minus 5 over 3 equals minus 1 over a, then a equals 3 over 5. And of course, the third one is where minus 2a equals minus 1 over a. In that case, we have a squared equals 1 over 2. So we have a equals a plus minus square root of 2 over 2. So we have found four possible values of a in this case. 
Now let us combine cases 1 and 2 and write down our final answers. There are total 6 values and let's write them down in an increasing order. Then a is the smallest one is negative square root of 2 over 2. Then we have 3 over 5. Then a square root of 2 over 2, 3 over 4, 5 over 6. And the biggest one is 2. And these 6 values are our answers. Using the graphing calculator, we can plot each cases. So you can see that in these two cases, three lines meet at a single point. And in other four cases, two out of three lines are parallel. Or for example, this and this. Okay, so that was all for today's video. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video.